Now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive. A narcotics detective in Fall River has been disciplined after an internal investigation found he mishandled evidence. The incident could impact drug cases the detective was involved in. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. In recent years, the Fall River Police Department's Vice and Intelligence Unit has been at the center of the highest profile narcotics busts in the city. Now one of its detectives has been suspended after drug evidence was found improperly stored in his desk. It was billed as the largest drug bust in Fall River history. Three kilos of cocaine and other evidence seized. Now one of the detectives on that case, Joshua Robillard, has been suspended. Detective Robillard will not, as long as I'm the chief of police here, will not uh, ever be in an investigative assignment. He'll be assigned to in-house duties as long as I'm the chief. And uh, we um, have given him a lengthy, a very lengthy suspension. Fall River Police Chief Jeffrey Cardoza says he brought in an independent investigator after the state police determined this was not a criminal case. The internal investigation included a search of Robillard's desk. And we found um, a quantity of narcotics uh, that did not have any accompanying paperwork in his desk drawer. We're not talking about one small bag. We're talking about multiple, multiple packages. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office telling Cardoza the discovery now puts some drug cases in jeopardy. No, they didn't give me an exact number, but I know there's a handful of cases that could be jeopardized by this information. A handful, talking five? Uh, may, maybe more. Maybe more. Yeah, maybe more. A spokesperson for the DA's office tells Target 12 they have already identified at least a dozen cases in district court alone. And the command staff is working with uh, those young detectives to make sure this doesn't happen again and um, I'm, I'm confident that it won't. A call to the police union that represents Robillard was not immediately returned. Cardoza would not provide the exact length of Robillard's unpaid suspension. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. New details in a Target 12 investigators exclusive. At least a dozen drug cases out of Fall River are now in jeopardy. This comes after an internal investigation at the police department found a detective was mishandling key evidence. That detective is now suspended without pay. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. Tim. Joshua Robillard was on Fall River's active vice and intelligence unit as a detective for eight years. Now cases he worked on are under the microscope. Arrests by Fall River's vice and intelligence unit often made news, snatching up cash and narcotics, but an internal investigation revealed some of that evidence was found undocumented in Detective Joshua Robillard's desk. We're not talking about one small bag. We're talking about multiple, multiple packages. Fall River Police uh, I, I Chief Jeffrey Cardoza like says he brought in uh, an independent investigator, adding uh, the state police did not find evidence that Robillard committed any crimes in his mishandling of the evidence. When you learned about this mishandling of evidence, as the outcome was, what was your reaction? Very disappointed. Uh, obviously, uh, the quantity uh, was of concerning to me, and 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 uh, it just. Uh, it appears to be extremely lazy police work. The long-term implications aren't yet known, but a spokesperson for the Bristol County District Attorney's Office says they have already identified at least a dozen cases in district court alone that could be in jeopardy. In fact, there's no excuse for a detective or an officer not to follow a, a, chain, of, a chain of custody, if you will, for, for evidence. Cardoza moved Robillard out of the vice unit and gave him what he called a significant unpaid suspension. Detective Robillard will not, as long as I'm the chief of police here, will not uh, ever be in an investigative assignment. Another former vice unit detective, Sergeant Louis Duarte, was also given a suspension in this case. Cardoza would not say how long Robillard's unpaid suspension is. A call to the union representing the detectives was not immediately returned. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.